I believe I now have sufficient background in coding to finally get into the most hardcore part of the field, artificial intelligence and machine learning. To do this, I'm going to be utilizing my five step process to efficiently master any field or concept that I want to learn. And it all starts with a plan. When I'm first getting into a new field that I'm unfamiliar with, my first step is always to look through the most popular introductory materials online and simply understand what is AI and machine learning, what can they do and why are they even important. And I've already been doing this for the past few days using this podcast called Machine Learning Guide, which I've been listening to while I'm at the gym or when I'm cycling. It's an audio based guide, which you might think is not the best for learning a very sort of mathy and complicated topic like AI. But then whether for the purpose that I'm using it for and the purpose that it is intended for, which is to get this broad idea of the context and what the area and field of machine learning actually is. For that, it's very, very useful. But first, at this point, I'm sure you're thinking like, okay, this guy is talking about AI and machine learning, but what do they even mean? What is AI? What is machine learning? Essentially, the way it works is that artificial intelligence is this broad category of things that we're trying to do with computers to sort of teach them to think by themselves. In the real world, there's so many different situations. There's so many things that can happen that we can't possibly program a computer that can do everything in every single situation. So we're trying to figure out ways to teach computers to do things on their own. And how machine learning relates to this is if you one of the ways in which we are trying to teach computers to do things is through data. For example, if we give this computer or this algorithm a bunch of data, it can figure out on its own, for example, how to categorize that data. More specifically, this is an example of deep learning, the most powerful form of machine learning. You might not know this, but you actually interact with deep learning algorithms every single day. The reason why you're addicted to TikTok is because TikTok's machine learning algorithms knows precisely the types of videos it should feed you to keep you on the platform. And this is certainly not because there's some humans sitting and guessing what videos to show you next. No, no, no. It's because by giving TikTok's clever machine learning algorithms a bunch of previous data of what you watched and kept watching in the past, you can figure out what has worked before. And the thing is, the more you watch, the more data the algorithm gets, the better it gets at giving you exactly the kinds of videos that you subconsciously want to watch the most. The data never lies. And I want to teach myself how to do this myself so that I can make you addicted to hitting the like button on my videos. I mean, for educational purposes, of course. So because machine learning is a sub area of AI, I figured that the most logical approach is to first study a general course on AI and then use more specialized resources to go deeper into machine learning specifically. But before we go into the rest of my study plan, there's something very important that you need to know about staying safe online and not allowing clever algorithms to trick you. When you're learning to code, one of the things that you'll do almost every day is search a bunch of things on your web browser. And when you spend your time browsing the internet for hours on end, click on links, one thing that used to stress me out a lot is what if I click on the wrong link or download a malicious file and my entire computer gets hacked? That was until I started using Guardia, who are today's video sponsor. Guardia is an amazing browser security extension backed by well-known companies and used by over a million people worldwide. Guardia provides real-time browsing protection that detects threats before they can cause harm to you and your private information. Whereas standard security solutions only remove threats like viruses and malware when they're already on your device, Guardia acts as the first line of defense and will block harmful sites automatically, clean unwanted notifications, remove malicious extensions, and much, much more so that you don't have to think before you click. Guardia is genuinely a crucial tool for anyone using their browsers today and it's also very easy to use and affordable. All you have to do is go to guard.io slash internet makecoder, install the extension in less than 15 seconds, after which it will run a free security scan. For example, to my surprise, I found that some of my data was breached from two major websites, which helped me to action them immediately and protect my private information. After that, you can start browsing safely with Guardia's seven days free trial with no commitment and money back guarantee. Thank you for Guardio for sponsoring my video and providing us with threat-free browsing. Step two is to take an introductory course and these are the courses which I plan to take. Firstly, CS50's Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. If you've seen any of my videos before, I'm sure you know what a big fan I am of CS50's introductory courses to computer science and to web development. They're probably my favorite courses I've ever done in my entire life in any topic. I love them because of their teaching style and I trust that this course is going to push me and to challenge me to the point where I'm actually 
going to be learning the things that the teacher so as a little update i'm now around two thirds of the way through the cs50 ai course so i thought i'd give a quick mid review of this course essentially it has met all my expectations as i alluded to before all cs50 courses are extremely difficult and this one is certainly no different the problems that you're solving in this course are very different to what i sort of thought ai problems are like i'd say to do this course you do need a strong foundation in data structures and algorithms which is not something that i expected to be honest so if you've been studying data structures and algorithms like for example graphs and you can't quite see exactly why these are useful and where they are really applied i'm now seeing just exactly why these are so, so important because in a lot of ai problems we use a lot of very complex data structures and the problems are super super interesting they're super complex because essentially the problems that you're solving are very similar to like lead code things except the problems are actually much much more interesting and much much more involved and so far just to give an idea of the things that i've done as i've created a program to solve a crossword puzzle i've taught my computer to understand logic i've essentially created a mock version of google's page rank algorithm which is the algorithm based on which the google search works that one's probably been my favorite project so far i don't focus on this every day but on the days that i do focus on it, it probably takes me like one full day to complete a full week of this course including the lecture as well as the projects but yeah if you do want to get into ai i would highly recommend this based on what i know so far and after that i want to do a proper introductory course on machine learning as well and the one that i'm going to be choosing for that is andrew ing's machine learning specialization the reason why i'm choosing it is simply because it's the most recommended resource online after i've done those courses if you would like to see full reviews on these courses especially the cs50 course like i've got reviews on the other cs50 courses hit the like down below because if you do i'll be more likely to actually make those you see that's funny because i said like and likely oh, oh you get it oh yeah okay oh you think i should move on and throughout this thing as soon as i am able to this is probably the most important part of my journey and what i've learned from my journey of learning to code and learning computer science the most important thing is to start applying your knowledge as soon as you're able to do that and i'm sure throughout my courses they are going to include like practice projects throughout the way so my big focus is going to be actually applying things and the reason why i want to get into ai in the first place is because i really really am so excited about this field and the things that you might be able to build with ai and with machine learning and i'm sure i'm going to struggle but that's sort of part of the excitement i love failing yeah i'm pretty weird like that and essentially from then on the plan is just to keep building things use the thing i've learned to build something and after that there's probably going to be a lot more deep theory that i can get into doing those building more complicated things and essentially just yeah see where this journey takes me from giving us better search results on google and keeping you hooked on social media platforms suggest by getting you to watch this video right now machine learning and ai are at the same time responsible for a lot of the good and a lot of the bad in our current society but no matter how you feel about them, machine learning and AI are definitely some of the most important frontiers of current human progress, which is exactly why understanding them well is so exciting to me, whether it's through implementing them myself or simply being aware of how they're used to manipulate me. If you want to follow my progress, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But if you don't care about AI and machine learning specifically, I still hope that this video was somewhat helpful into my sort of thought process on how I approach learning new areas. If you're new here on this channel, I try to give you the best tools, strategies, and methods to learn to code effectively. So if this sounds appealing to you, definitely subscribe to the channel. It's one massive mistake that I used to personally do when i was learning anything new and i don't want you to make that mistake so if you want to avoid that you should definitely watch this video next whatever you're getting into coding ai do not make this mistake because if you do you could be destroying your progress so definitely watch this video next